always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Such a beautiful day today. Live look outside shows that we're still quiet. We could see some areas of fog like we've seen the last couple of days, but if they occur, it's most likely going to be over bodies of water like rivers, streams, and ponds. Temp sitting in the 40s right now, dropping into the 30s tonight. So it's going to be another chilly night, a lot of low 30s on the board. Some areas close to Lake Michigan could be in the mid 30s. But once we get to sunrise tomorrow, we're going to start to warm up really quickly. So Saturday afternoon, plenty of sunshine, just a few clouds streaming through. You can see winds out of the south. And and then as we get into Sunday, we do expect fading sunshine, but staying mild, staying dry, and not a lot of wind. So both days are going to be looking really great. If you've been planning on looking at fall foliage this coming weekend, I want to give you a little update. And this is so neat. Thank you to Greg Rempel for taking these pictures and sending them in. What you see here is 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022 and where we're at with the same set of trees. So by far, we're the most far along in terms of fall foliage this year compared to the last four. Now, some of that has had to do with our temperatures. A lot of October has been cooler than average, but keep in mind this last weekend, average high temperature was 75. This coming weekend, we're going to be seeing average temperatures closer to 61, and even that's a little warmer than average. So all in all, still a really good fall color display, but we're losing a lot of leaves fast. Most locations are at peak or past peak. Now, as far as everything else is concerned, really easy to take forecasts. Tomorrow, early risers will start in the 30s. We'll see 42 by 10 a.m., plenty of sunshine. Sunrise is just after 8 a.m. Two-day forecast for the weekend has 60 for Sunday, so we have a nice air mass that's going to be in place for us, keeping the warmth. But the cloud cover on Sunday is coming at us from a storm system from the south. So if we look at Storm Track Live and we zoom all the way out, our next batch of showers is actually coming at us from the southwest. A lot of times we see our next storm system from the due west. But we're going to be watching that batch of showers that's just launching north of Dallas because it is going to track towards us. It's not going to produce a lot of rain. We're not expecting severe weather. But steadily, you can see it moving towards us, kicking out a lot of cloud cover. This is the cloud bank that's going to increase our cloudiness for Sunday. And then it's after dark, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, that we start to see some light showers. Most of these will continue over Grand Rapids into the southeast, and then they'll clear out from the northwest down to the southeast. So Monday, looking like trick or treat time frame, clearing clouds, isolated shower southeast of Grand Rapids. Sunset is at 636, completely dark at 811 there. Eight day forecast, we really don't cool down very far. Even though we have a cold front that technically moves through on Monday, we're back in the 60s. And most of next week is in the 60s. Michelle, we could even see another 70 wow. before this next week is done. This is November now. Right, the first week of November. All right. Thanks, Helen.